FCA Incoterm explained, benefits, drawbacks, and alternatives. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we'll be discussing the FCA Incoterm, which stands for Free Carrier Alongside. This trade term is part of the F family of Incoterms, along with FAS and FOB. It's often used by suppliers who want to avoid delivery responsibilities in international transactions. In this video, we'll cover the principles of the FCA Incoterm, its obligations for both the buyer and seller, and how it compares to the FOB Incoterm. The principle of the FCA Incoterm The FCA Incoterm limits the exporter's obligations to delivering the goods, cleared through customs and loaded with a carrier specified by the customer. The customer can choose between two options, collecting the goods from the supplier's warehouse or having the seller deliver the goods to the point of departure. In both cases, the seller must provide all necessary documents for the export of the goods. Incoterms 2020 introduced some new features for the FCA Incoterm, such as the possibility for the seller to obtain recognition and an extension of the FCA, DAP, and DDP Incoterms to transport by the customer's means of transport. Precautions to take To avoid ambiguities when using the FCA Incoterm, you should negotiate the cost of passage through the warehouse and define the packaging procedures for the goods. Obligations of the seller and buyer Under the FCA Incoterm, the seller is responsible for packing and labeling the goods, loading them onto the customer's means of transport, and completing the customs clearance procedure in the country of export. The buyer, on the other hand, is responsible for organizing the main transport from the point of shipment, carrying the goods to the final destination, and completing the customs formalities for the import of goods. Similarities and differences between FCA and FOB Both FCA and FOB have the price composition excluding freight and insurance. However, there are some key differences between the two. 1. Transportation Methods FOB is only applicable to sea transportation, while FCA is suitable for any transportation method. 2. Delivery Locations FOB transportation is delivered at the port of shipment, while FCA completes the delivery when the goods are delivered to the first carrier. 3. Risk Division The risk transfer between the buyer and the seller of FOB is loading on board the ship at the port of shipment, while FCA completes the risk transfer when the goods are delivered to the first carrier. 4. Transport Documents FOB uses only a sea bill of lading, while the transport bill of lading used by FCA depends on different modes of transport. 5. Loading and unloading charges FOB and FCA have different regulations on the burden of loading and unloading charges. Conclusion In summary, the FCA INCO term is a flexible trade term that limits the seller's obligations in international transactions. It's essential to understand the responsibilities of both the buyer and seller and take necessary precautions when using this INCO term. By comparing FCA to FOB, you can determine which trade term best suits your specific transaction. We hope you found this video helpful in understanding the FCA INCO term. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.